Declining numbers now, the Buffalo Teachers Federation has still been fighting the recent return to classrooms in city schools. And we just got a ruling from the court on this afternoon. Two on your sides, Rob Hackford joins us live now with the details. Yeah, Scott and Mary Ellis, a judge has denied the Buffalo Teachers Federation's request to stop in person learning, which restarted back on February 1st, despite their objections. Now, the judge in his ruling stated the district followed all CDC and state guidelines to reopen and that the union didn't show specific proof that the buildings aren't safe. We spoke to BTF President Phil Ramore a short time ago, who said he is disappointed by the ruling, but says their work is just beginning. According to the district provided data, 24 students or staff have tested positive for COVID-19 since in-person learning restarted. The district has, uh, you know, uh, addressed some of the concerns. However, the teachers still do not have any written response to the individual schools as to what the problems are there. But we'll continue to work with the district. The bottom line is I think we all want to make sure that the schools are safe. Well, Ramore said the union has not decided whether to appeal this decision or not. With another court appearance set for March 9th, this case is not over yet. The district response reads, quote, denial of the Buffalo Teachers Federation's request for an injunction order reinforces the district's cautious, systematic and science based approach to bringing students back to their school homes for in person instruction. This was possible through the extraordinary efforts and commitment of our students, families and staff working together as we will continue to do so. And we at Channel 2 will continue to cover this story, including that March 9th court appearance in Buffalo. Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.